What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we're doing an experiment. Can we make a good deck that is 100% flowers? So for the first time I actually did build the deck uh, in the way that I always tell you guys not to is by typing in the name of a tribe here at the bottom. And those were the cards I was able to select. We did come up with this. I looked in the collection first and saw that Wall Knight actually has some pretty decent Guardian Flowers to complete this. The Pop and Poppies and the Soul Patch is going to give this deck a little bit of late game. Now, other than that, basically the most expensive flower would cost five and we really needed some finishers in this deck. So this is going to be a control slash ramp deck uh, into late game and your finishers are mostly going to be your strike through cards. We got plenty of ramp with four primal sunflowers. Decided to go like two little buddies and two sunflowers at the end just to give a little extra ramp. And then, of course, we're also running twin sunflower. Play this on turn two. If it survives, uh, you'll have five sun on turn Three, in which case you can make really strong plays. Power Flower, decent card, decent damage. It also heals. And then Briar Rose is going to be the main flower. Synergy card that every single time one of your opponent's zombies damages any flower, uh, Briar Rose will just kill it straight up. Elderberry's really good finisher. We got the strike through. If you play your Briar Rose when you have five sun, and when you have, then when you have six sun, you can play Pop and Poppies that spreads little buddies around the field and will basically protect your guys and make sure any zombie on the board dies. Also a really cool interaction that when you have a Briar Rose and a Soul Patch on the field, uh, so whenever the opponent damages, tries to damage your face, instead it damages a Soul Patch, Soul Patch is a flower. See the flower? See the flower on his face? And uh, then the Soul Patch will actually, then the Briar Rose will actually kill anything attempting to damage your face. I think a really solid deck all in all. Let's see if we can uh, win some games with this. These games are going to go a little slow since the win conditions of this deck are not super efficient. Uh, we'll have, oops, I just ran an ad because I'm stupid. No, quick. Don't do it. <laughs> Ultimate Fry stream fails. <laughs> I just played an ad. <laughs> uh, I meant to start the bet. So if you think this deck will go six wins out of eight vote, yes. Five out of eight's going to be a no over here at the live stream. To Twitch that TV forward slash. Your ma, forward slash fry him up. And just like that, we won our first game. That doesn't play. Didn't play a card. I am just debating the live stream here with the ads. Let's go. 100% flowers. I, I feel confident. I think this deck is solid. Again, don't really have any plan for it. We have plenty of strike through, though. And plenty of lake him. I got rid of two bloomerangs, even though the strike is important to win. It was just too many fours. I, I got cut those for just having a little extra early game. I like how we're really leaning in to the ramp. You know, what's a really good combo is uh, for getting out some one and then twin sunflower on two against Boogaloo. It's not great. How should I mulligan this hand? We go one. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna keep this hand just to give some options. There is backup dancers that could happen on one. Okay, we actually have to remove that. So really happy I held on to the forget me notes. Just have an answer to uh Jeez Katwa. Uh the bets will last for five minutes. We still got some time. Um, so I think we'll just YOLO Twin Sunflower. It doesn't become, it's not a very useful card. In fact, in the late game, the one cost regular Sunflower is actually better. Um, because it only costs one. You're using it basically to just protect one of your minions with the team up. So we'll YOLO this. If he uses a Lightning Bolt, a Lightning Bolt's a really powerful card. Very, uh, overstatted for a one cost card, obviously. Didn't even end up healing him there. So that was actually a very good exchange for us. Here's this. And Quasard. I think because... Okay, so we have two options. I'm always playing the Forget-Me-Nuts here. I actually could super this turn, which is really interesting. Uh, we're basically... If we let the Sunflower live, it means we Power Flower next turn. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to take this out. I'm not going to super yet. I'm going to play this here, and I'm going to Power Flower next turn. Forget Me Nuts doesn't get enough value here, because he's at zero brains, but it's okay. Oh, 
cringe. What's your opinion on Grow Shroom? Think it has potential. I think it does have potential. I've seen decks using it to buff like a Rotobago, like a nice tempo deck. It's a little hard to play like that on the plant side with Mega Grow, but I, I think there's something there. It's a, definitely a card I haven't. I haven't utilized the potential of... Do we want to keep ramping to six, or do we want two extra, three extra health on this Power Flower is the real question. Uh, I think this minion yeah, surviving is good because we're probably just going to Elderberry next turn. Uh, so for that reason, we'll actually have like eight damage strike through here. It looks like this is a guy who's just playing a bunch of I mean, garbage. God, he started off really strong with those cheese cutters and Quasar, but... Once you see someone's running cosmic cosmic garbage, it's just like whatever. Just like whatevs. He's growing that. So the elderberry becomes really interesting. If we don't, if we just play this, Soul Patch becomes actually playable next turn. We don't have to rush the Soul Patch, though. This is a really good play. It adds a ton of damage to the board. It also does the remaining two damage on the uh, Command's face. There's no point in supering. He's not doing anything significant here. So we'll wait another turn. We'll play Bloomerang or whatever else we get. And we'll play Soul Patch the turn after. There's really no need to rush it. Soul Patch is a very good card against Boogaloo, who doesn't really have a good way of dealing with it. Typically runs like Alley News, Fruitcake. Neither of them are really solid answers. Wow, look at the top deck of the of the Poppin' Poppies, though. So this will bring us all the way back up to 20 health. And also protects our Elderberry, which is just relentlessly going phase. Opponent could have a removal card of just a little buddy. But again, it costs a whole card for just a very small byproduct of ours. And the opponent got heal, which is very sad. It's a non-tempo card. Just makes him survive slightly longer. Look how good the little buddy here is. It kept a 5-4 strike through on the board. Ridiculous. Now we got Soul Patch coming. Once we play the Soul Patch, it's kind of just over. Dang, we're doing good. So there's that. This will grow. This could be something that grows. Uh, let's just play on Curve. Soul Patch looking strong. We're at 20 health. Guys, this is like the ultimate snare. We're at 20 health. We got full block meter, and we have a Soul Patch on the board. But look how good the Soul Patch trades against these binary stars too, man. Hell yeah, it absorbs that. We're still at full block meter. <laughs> we are extra, extra protected. The only thing we need is like Astro Bear to give us more than 20 health. It's the only thing. So we are gonna go face. We have 5 4 next turn. Uh, he's probably gonna draw a card. Do we want do we want a block? It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter, right? We'll do for a card. And to maintain our glorious 20 health full block meter. Backup dancers, lame. Just jump blocking us. But opponents running out of cards. I feel like a lot of these games are gonna come down to the opponent running out of cards, since again, we don't have the most efficient win conditions in this day. It's okay though. Uh, I'll probably just spam both strike through cards here. These, this bloomerang. And we'll see if we can draw something. Superpowers draw cards a lot, so we'll see what he has. Ugh. I think this is a fine play. We also got heals on the board, potentially. Three heals. Power Flower is the OG. Flower synergy card. <laughs> I feel like it's not enough. It should be like two per per flower and make this card actually decent, you know? Uh, so this will actually not even kill Soul Patch. Love to see it. Here's the either lethal or proc the block. And then the opponent's got of either evaporate or lightning bolt, so this will actually do it, yep. Yeah. Still got 20 full block meter, we're fine. I know this monster looks crazy, but... Yeah, man. And Briar Rose, yes! Oh my god, Briar Rose so good here. No, don't kill my soul patch, you're evil! Bruh... Alright, anyway. 
very, very solid play coming on up. Let's see if he can draw a card and make the Mondo survive. I don't think he can. He doesn't have it. He don't have nothing. Extinction event. Extinction event for the win. That's nah, still for the loss. We we literally Oh, super brains! <laughs> To the rescue. He actually survives this turn, though. Amazingly. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. He actually survived? How? How? Okay. We just need anything that does three damage. And we got it. You guessed it. Yes. We is good. <laughs> Kill your conga. Kill your conga. <laughs> Come on. He could have pinged one of the things and died. That would have been awful. Oh well. Yeah, this is basically what I expected, is that a, a dominant act that heals a ton, controls a ton, lasts a ton, and has a little bit of problems finishing off games. Uh, because of the lack of just, you know, it, the deck's a little bit easy to chump luck, but... I think these attrition games, the reason why I really wanted to pack in four, four poppin' poppies and four soul patches is really overkill, but I think the deck needs it. I don't, it really might not be overkill, because you're, <laughs> you're just going to have to win the slow grind. Uh, so we'll hold on to one twin. Huh. Twin doesn't actually go in the poppies. Let's, let's look for you. Something a little more. Ooh, this, this hand looks hot. This hand looks spicy. So the big cards usually want to go on heights. I'm not really. We're basically gonna probably cover the, this instead of the forget me nuts. Yeah, let's go with this on the ground. I'm just saying like this. When you're see huge giganticus or super brains, the only difference between heights and and ground is they have environments that happen on the ground. They have laser based alpha and huge giganticus also has a freeze environment. So your big guys want to be on heights. The guys that you want to that you want to live. Uh, this should be safe, right? So, just thinking ahead, we're gonna be playing, like, keep the Twin Sunflower alive, use the Primal as the base for the first Elderberry. This is an interesting scenario, but we're, we're probably not gonna be able to kill the Teleportation Zombie. It makes the Twin die for free. I hope it's not a smelly zombie, that's all I gotta say. I'm guessing gentleman, I don't know why. I'm not sure why that's my guess. And he got a strike through card, so annoying. So is this teleport pirates? <laughs> Teleportation zombie flame face, guys. Maybe it's one of these like teleport gondola viking monstrosities, which we've actually made before. So now what? Uh, Ugh. Um. So yeah, <laughs> I guess that's the play. I don't know. I can't feed those to the teleport. I probably should have just played Twin Sunflower in one. That would have actually been smart, and that would keep the Elderberry alive for an extra turn, which it's doing so much damage here. Yeah, that would have been smart. And the man decides to freeze. It turns out our play worked out really well because he. How did he not have anything to teleport in is the real question. That is the real question. The Elderberry is looking strong here, though. Ooh, shit! <laughs> Elderberry in one, because why not? In case he removes the two ones, I don't know what he'll do. Uh, we need this for a card, right? Is there anything that comes out of this that hits our face inappropriately? Gosh, he's running freeze against strike through flowers. We're gonna have to top deck some late game cards here. We're basically gonna burn super for a, for a card. Uh, this happens though. I, 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 I didn't consider that maybe the elderberry should have been in front because it doesn't die. I think having the 5 4 intact in this environment though. I don't know. Alright. Well, we're burning this. It does prevent some damage here at least. We really need the card. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, this could be lethal. I I'm just banking on the five damage hitting. This will do two. This will proc the block, but then 
The opponent's in an awkward situation where they have seven health, we have one health left, and there's a Galactic Cactus on the board. No, don't block the deck. Literally, is probably the game right there. Unfortunately, he got a bad card. That's the game. He gets his guy. Watch him get his guy too. Bro, I can't. I don't have enough damage now. We needed that five. That is so unfortunate. That is so sad. And he's just still freezing and stuff. Come on, man. This is not what we wanted to top deck. This is a nightmare. This is a nightmare. This is not okay. Not okay. <laughs> so he's going after that anyway. Let's just block damage and hope for the best. Oh, Tomb Raider, great. Um, I don't think the Tomb Raider makes anything here, though. We just need strike through cards or something. We're not going to win this. I don't know why. I'm not sure why. Here's Soul Patch. Oh, snap. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> okay, and he got Gondola. Congratulations. Um, I guess this will go on heights. I'm not really sure what's supposed to happen now. So he's doing six and seven. And then we block the Tomb Raider kills it, and then the gondola. Maybe we'll roll high. The chances of winning this game are so insanely low right now. Woo! No, and he rolled a one. Like, come up! Oh my God! I need a break. I need a break. I need one break. This is not good enough. Did we get our? Did we use our super ready, right? So we can heal. Um, alright, so here's the play. We're blocking this. We'll block a geyser, which will be enough to live here, I think. And then we get... Okay. Come on, mix up Grave Digger! Please, Mug! Please, Mug! No, not binary! Yes! He got Mug! He got Mug! He got Mug! Winnable! Winnable game! Winnable game! Winnable game! We need, we need a strike through card. We need one strike through card. Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh, snap! Oh snap! We need a we need we need to. I, I I didn't click on the mug. Oh, we're still in very very dire straits. But the most we can do is heal and keep us alive. We're not gonna win this because he has like strike through lane and then a binary stars. That's not good. I hope the binary is in lane two. Yes, it is. If he doesn't have anything, proc the block and then he does six and four. Our last cards and we'll get like a walnut. Actual still winnable game because the binary stars miraculously ends up in the only lane it could have died in. Block! Walnut! Geyser is good enough! Geyser is good enough! If we come back from this game, man! If we come back, if we come back from this game! The concede, please! Oh, no! Uh, Huh? <laughs> There's nothing we can do. B -b 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 oh my gosh, we protected the we protected the right the little buddy, the team of clutch. He's looking for something. He's looking. He needs a leap. It's my needs a leap. <laughs> Holy cow! How? How? Oh! 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 That was the greatest comeback I ever saw. That was it. That was that takes the freaking cake. Oh my gosh! The number of miracles that happen from him getting the mug, the binary starts ends up exactly where it dies. There's no way we would have survived. And then we die, we top deck a team up against an electrician. I mean, come on, man. I mean, come on! Apparently he missed lethal somewhere, too. I don't even know what, man. Oh my gosh! A classic! A classic! A classic. That was just the comeback of the Eon. Oh, I just... Sorry, let me... Let me, let me, let me. Uh, star window. 
accidentally killed my browser just now. Can we get this window back, please? Oh my gosh. Okay. Time to write down some highlights. Sorry, I'm writing down the highlights, guys. <laughs> Gonna take one minute here. Highlight game to that whole game going on YouTube too on the main channel. Besides, it's making highlight comp and highlight game. This is a productive day so far. Good day at the office, guys. I don't even know. I'm still out of my seat. I'm still like kneeling on the ground on my desk. Cause I can't even believe it. I can't even believe it. What did what was his misplay? Yeah, everyone's saying he missed lethal. The electrician. What was he supposed to do with the electrician? I don't get it. Oh, he should have gone face because we, we were only hit twice. I forgot we only got hit. Is this <sighs> we mulligan that properly? He... Meaning he 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 should have gone face with the electrician, right? Yeah, he had guaranteed lethal. What the hell? <laughs> that just makes it hilarious now. I don't even know what's happening. He completely threw the game. What did he do the bonus attack with? Wait, we only had four health still, right? Or did we have more? I'm checking the VOD. We had... Okay, the good news is we did have a full... We could have rolled a three and one. It's still throwing. It's still hard inting. Um, I feel like... It has a better chance of living when we do it like this. He could have laser base, but that's, you know... Yeah, basically anything that's not laser based kills it if we leave this alone. So who knows? Maybe we'll get a four. I I'd like to get a four or less here just to have a play. I broke at five. A little bit of a problem here. We had one health, but we, we could have rolled a three and blocked still. But yeah, I mean, he definitely should have gone for it. It's not, <laughs> that's not an excuse at all. All right, it looks like our um, it looks like our our primal sunflower lived, so we can actually get a turn five play. I'm gonna reserve lane four for Briar Rose. We will actually see a Briar Rose game now, which is very hot indeed. He'll probably try to make a good play against the Forget Me Nuts because you know I can put a minion there because he has the you know the superpower, which makes the Briar Rose really good. Ah. <sighs> Missed half. Yeah. I just didn't realize. Um, I feel like both of these die. So I'm gonna do the Briar Rose next turn. It's kind of good to surprise him with a Briar Rose in a place where he'd otherwise have a good trade, turn it into a bad one. There's Deadly. Why is he playing Deadly though? That is such a strong superpower. Really good against our deck too. And the, yeah, this these, these Infinity Clones ain't gonna do nothing here. Oh, it kills the 2 3. Well, it kills a 2 2 Primal Sunflower. Okay. Okay. Uh, he doesn't realize what kind of deck we're running, but like, <laughs> definitely he would have wiped us out. We don't got an answer to that. So now it's properly turn 5. We're at 19 health. I'm still not feeling the Briar Rose. I'm going to go with the second. Get some power on the board. We're also getting some healing. He's mostly being aggressive here. It'll heal for one now. But we'll preserve. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> okay, good. He's less just pinging our block meter a lot. It's okay. Very slow play by him. We're doing fast. Look at us. Who who's being aggressive? <laughs> Power Flower, man. Underrated card. I just wish there weren't so many great five drops in the game. Power Flower could actually be a thing. Let's see what goes on here. So. I think we just keep going face, man. <laughs> we can actually team up in this lane? Should we do that? 
<laughs> Alright, let's go. Screw it. No California rolls for you. Eight damage, the clean victory, okay? We don't want him rolling double threes. I ain't having any of that. God damn it. So, okay. That's okay. Two for one. Two for two now. Ooh! We got a nice light game card. Loco Coco. Uh, we have Forget Me Nuts, which could is the only nut we have in this deck, but theoretically could combo. Uh, this is, this is good enough, right? <laughs> it's gonna be blocking four, five, six, seven, eight, potentially. That's a good super. Yeet! Another Elderberry. Still no opportunities to play. Oh, probably just go Elderberry in one and see if he has another fruitcake. Oh, no. This will go up to three. Uh, I think we just go Elderberry. I ha Oops. <laughs> Let's play the wrong card. It could be a Pogo. Ugh. Pogo Yeti. God damn it. Yeah, we're taking some heat now. It's possible that was too greedy. Whoa, he's doing so much damage. Five, ten, fourteen. Wait, no, it's the six. Is this lethal? <laughs> I mean, I greedily tried to win face, but yeah, I guess playing slower was probably right. Should have developed Briar Rose and took go take the take the. I don't know. I just didn't feel like I had enough, uh, enough like healing and stuff. A, a pop and puppies would have gone a long way there. Too bad. All right, good cal palate cl cleanse after <laughs> the last game here. Never really need two twins. It should be fine. I know it's anti-synergetic, but it gives us pretty good options for the first two turns. But only play one of these. <coughs> um, so, yeah, so we'll go on the ground. I really could have gone face with this too, but I, I want to set up the Twin Sunflower and set up the Briar Rose and get our, our stuff established here. The Twin can very often, you know, if he plays like a Space Diamond 2, can block it. Otherwise, this is going to protect the Twin from other things. Yeah, we'll take it. Forget me not still gonna be driving this guy up the wall. It's also a flower. Priors. Plays around laser kinda. <coughs> We'll start pummeling this guy hard. Freeze! Doesn't do anything! Freeze the Briar Rose and protect your face from 3 damage. The man doesn't understand how Briar Rose works. See ya! Why? He wanted the block meter charge. I don't know. I don't get it. Yep, so we have two very strong plays here. Huh. So... Let's say it's a pogo. Let's just say... It doesn't make sense. It has to be Pogo, right? So we're not going to do this. No, it's going to be like this. Like this. Uh, it's not Pogo. He's got three brains, though. Uh-oh. Go. Oh, he doesn't like the forget-me-nuts. That's the thing he doesn't like here. Okay. Yeah, when is 60, season 60 ending? I feel like I have 200 stars already and it still hasn't ended. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> uh, Sunflower getting it done. Uh, I think we just go face. Good, uh, good base for the, for the big bubble guy. Big Bubba John. So I'll get Chomp and uh, Rust Bowl Super. Nah, he got nothing. Oh my gosh, Chomp! Boy, did he use a superpower yet? No, that, he had that anyway. That's that's part of his kit. He didn't top deck that. And Octo, sheesh. Got answers. 
Octo obviously not as good as any of the lightning bolt superpowers, which prevent the three damage. Now, now the guy's in trouble. I feel sad that he has seven brains. <laughs> he has six. I'm probably gonna burn this for a card again, though. I really don't want my play to be Forget Me Nuts Galactic Actus. It's so so sad. Bro! A little team up to protect the Briar Rose would complement this play going nicely into the Soul Patch next turn. Yes! Easy! Uh, I'll play the Forget Me Nuts. He doesn't really have a lot of, like, things that kill the Galacta. And if he does, then I'm going face for three, so I'll motivate him to do it. <laughs> In case he plays like beam me up, that's why I put this here so it at least does something. Bro, uncool. Uncool. The cool thing is the one damage does not kill the soul patch. Deadly is typically very good against soul patch. Oh, it dies anyway. I forgot. I forgot. We'll see what, you know, it conjured another deadly card, so if that has two attack, it'll mess up the soul patch here, but it only has four health. Should be good to go here. That's from Barry. Player, player dumb, I don't know. He says like a blow, blow gun. Blow gun imp. <laughs> and the man thinks he's HG. <laughs> I wish you were. HG wannabe. So we'll go face. We'll play it not in the strike through environment. So we can potentially protect it. Uh, see, Deadly doesn't do anything, because this has armor, so usually this would clear the field, but in this case, we win the game. <laughs> Clank. <laughs> the armor is so important here. <laughs> in fact, we don't take any damage, the 20-0 victory. We absorbed our own Galactus Splash, too. Uh, probably I can't bend my middle finger, what should I do? Just... Wave at people while you're in the car. Just wave at people backwards. Give them gang symbols. Shake your fist at people. Yeah, shake your fist at people like this. That's my advice. Now go see a doctor. You probably sprained it. Probably need to need to get a thing on it. Immobilize. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, we need to get pro. Come on. <laughs> well, we got a ramp card. That's why we're, by the way, not running four little buddies, because in that situation. Come on, man. So we're basically passing for two turns and playing twin, uh, the Sunflower, not the Twin. Regular Sunflower on three, and then on turn four, we'll play a five drop. We're so bricked. <laughs> Bro, come on. So we'll do these both on turn three. Be protective. Don't want to give him an extra turn to kill this, you know? If we play it now, we get Extinction Event in this case. Well, we're gonna yellow it. Uh, player on Acid Ring. He can't really teleport cards in, though, right? I mean, what would- what am I playing around by playing this Walnut here? If- it seems like this will be very good to be exposed with the Briar Rose. I don't have to play this Walnut at all, we can just go four and then five. I mean, this might die, though. It likely will. He'll likely play something. I don't know what this guy's... But can he make a minion? Is there any way for Brain Freeze to make a dude during the trick phase? He hasn't conjured anything. I don't think there's anything in his kit that works like that. So I'm actually going to put this here to set up protecting the Briar Rose preemptively. Good thing is we have a four in case we... In case he has, you know, just a nibble. He probably is running control. K? Okay? <laughs> I overthought that a little too much. Let's see what he's got here. Let's see what the man got. So, I'm just trying to set up, like, the pop and poppies next turn. I don't really understand what this guy doing. Let's play this in the non alley news lane, I guess. Cosmic Flower instead of Power Flower, and you'll get late game finishers. I don't know. I'd say if you get Power Flower, that's already like an okay card from Cosmic Flower. 
It's just too expensive. And just to, like does all these little bits of two damage. I don't know. I don't like it. Bro. So popping poppies doesn't really do a lot. We should probably just power flower, right? But where? <laughs> He's clogging my life. Oh, man. Uh, there's also a play where we... Well, we can forget me nuts anyway, right? Alright, let's do it like this. Like this. It doesn't do anything to... What's with the environments? The guy's just running eight, eight environments with brain freeze. <clears throat> Why did I put the power flower in lane four? It, it should have gone in two. I don't know. I was thinking about the popping poppies, but it's still better in two. I don't know what I'm thinking. Acid rain to prevent a little bit. I think we're doing okay in this game. These laser base alphas are heck <laughs> annoying. He conjures a card. For healing. Look, we're getting healed back up to full health. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing right now. Supernova Garg. Uh, the, the soul patch is, uh, like, negated right now. <sighs> but we're fine. The Supernova Garg only does five now, and it dies. Kind of for free. Yay! The soul patch can't do anything on a field with two laser base alpha. <laughs> what are we supposed to do? Okay, this is fine. It all worked out well. <coughs> we'll probably just go four and one. We'll see. Used acid rain, so ground. Or got me nuts and four looks good. Probably with pop and pop. We'll heal back up. Um, is there a reason to try to strike through here? I think this is good enough. He can't really. He'll, he'll need a removal card to block this anyway. <laughs> <laughs> He's just spamming Supernova Guard into Briar Rose. That is not how to get it done. No blocks. See ya. <laughs> no, the little bunnies. No, the little bunnies. They're all dead. <laughs> That reminds me of the time. <laughs> that reminds me, guys. You know what it reminds me of, right? You guys know. You guys have seen the highlight comps. It reminds me of the the beginning of my evil arc, my Homelander arc, where I killed the little buddies for absolutely no reason. I still feel bad. <laughs> I'm still gonna play little buddy here. <laughs> Hello, nurse. Unfortunately, it does heal for seven, so. That's a lot of healing. That's probably the best Gargi, dry Gargi to play. Let's go back up to nine. See ya. Keep it yeeting, boys. Uh, yeah, best card we could get is just Elderberry at this point. <laughs> we have all the sun and all these cards and <laughs> nothing to do. Not some. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> of course he's running Zomba in this deck. <laughs> I just saw it destroy all plants. I'm like, <laughs> for fuck's sake, come on. Come on, man. So we just put two strike through minions on the board and hope for the best. What is this? Is Gargolith? He's going for Gargolith, guys. This is like so Gargolith. What gravestone would he run in this deck? Just think about it. Um, what should I play around? I'll play around Pogo, I guess. <sighs> it really doesn't matter what lane this is in, right? Yeah, it's Gargolith. Knew it. Nice deck, bro. Nice deck, buddy. Does he have any? He needs, like, frosty mustache. Oh my god. He had it. second oh. wait do we lose now do we lose now is this guaranteed we always lose hold on hold on no 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 but now he gets he gets zombot every turn I don't think there's anything in this deck well we need two galactic cactuses yeah I think we lose the game <laughs> I think we lose to that 
Because he had freaking breeds. I'm pretty sure we that's 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 just the end of the game here. Okay. We have to get we have to stall for time, so we're gonna heal here just to stall a little bit. And we basically need two galactic cactuses. We can't do any damage because he has gargalism. Oh, I was laughing at him, but unfortunately this, this does beat this deck. We don't have any reach. There's only two galactic cactuses in the deck as well. There's no way we can make... We don't have any grave removal, so we can't answer Gargalith. Yeah, I think we lose! <laughs> I think we lose! There's nothing we can do! We're stalemated! It doesn't matter! <laughs> so we're three and two somehow! I don't know! The deck was dominating! But we don't have it. There's no good. There's no flowers that remove gravestones. We definitely got outsmarted there. He was just too smart. I guess I'll put that in the fail cup. That's why you shouldn't laugh at people, Fry. That's this lesson learned. Lesson learned. <laughs> I should probably do that deck now. <coughs> Good answer to forget me nuts. But attack where you bait out their removal for your win conditions, like. That's not a whole deck to be based on that, but that can that actually can be an aspect of a deck. For example, in, in decks where you have, you know, serious late game cards, having like a bounty hunter to remove the sham rockets and stuff like that, it's often a good idea. Uh yeah. So about that. We're getting kinda wrecked here. Maybe I should let the twin live, though, to take the damage. I probably should have played Twin Sunflower behind the Forget-Me-Nuts. Taking the extra damage, like, why? Why do this? The Briar Rose is very strong, but I can Briar Rose into Poppin' Poppies in that case. Now this dies, or he gets a free Cheese Cutter shot again. I don't think it was worth blocking two extra damage here. Anyway, this is the play. Well, all right. we don't really have anything to do next turn now. I can't really let the cheese cutter hit us again, though. It's too sad. I think this stream goes on YouTube regardless of the outcome. <laughs> Been a wacky one. That's okay. See, we've slowed him down. That's the point. Like, we don't have good plays now, but it would be really nice to, to get up. Uh, I think it's only turn four now, right? To get something playable would be really good. This freaking bricky deck, man. I don't know. This is gonna be really rough. We have turns five, six, and seven. I'm actually gonna give him the extra, the extra thing. It doesn't really do damage this turn. We'll basically kill this next turn with our five drop. Otherwise, we're just getting too low. So I want to give him and a and a hand where we have to just play a five and then play a six and play a seven. We really. Actually gets the three. But I don't wanna, wanna get too low here. We're just we're out of options, you know. Probably Briar Rose, so we can make a good control play next turn. Where though? I guess Briar Rose in two. And then we can pop in poppies in three, and the five damage gets blocked. They'll hit us for three and then we block the five. 
to the theory. We'll see if he has an answer here. Okay, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Well, there's a bunch of environments. Well, there's one environment, Laser Base Alpha. Let's hope he doesn't get that. Come on, bro. We got the heals, and we got the Soul Patch. And the, the Spry Rose, you know, should be a 3-3 next turn. Yes! Wow, graveyard, a real one of the probably the worst environment, even trapper territory. Wow, he's not killing Briar Rose, dude. You are gonna pay for that, bro. He could actually roll double ones and win. So this has a 50-50 chance. We have to block the five. This will hopefully go to lane two to set up for the for the pop and poppies. Yes. Oh, this is a good pop and poppies right now. He's got three cards in hand, limited options. Not have a way to kill Briar Rose there. I mean, he did. He had vitamin Z, but <laughs> there's the other superpower. Uh, let's just hope this this goes through here. You know, if he ends up with like a Z Mech super, obviously it's gonna mess us up. We have a lot of healing. We also have a soul patch. Please just don't get some BS. We'll win this game. I'd love the Briar Rose to win. That doesn't do anything. That does nothing. Yes! Oh, well, no, we win that game. <laughs> it doesn't do frenzy, it'll do anything. Just dies to Briar Rose. Yes! Yeet! And then the little buddy takes out a 5 5. Woo! Close one? Close call. Probably just popping poppies and primal? Sunflower? Popping poppies protects Link too. He could have, he could have had acid rain. It would have been sad. Zmax super. Freeze would not have done a damn thing. I know everyone's conjuring super. <laughs> this is the eighth quasar we've seen today. It's like the third, but you know what I'm saying. It feels like the eighth. Yeah, he quit. I think he just didn't understand how the Briar Rose would interact with the Frenzy. Not everyone knows. We 4 and 2. Let's go. <laughs> Prime up. You ever get in the shower and realize you left the Twitch stream on and your phone is sitting on the counter? Because that's what I just did. Well, welcome. Hope you had a great shower. <laughs> You had a very fulfilling, very... I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. <coughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. Double Briar. Why? Is, we only have two types of fives in this deck. Why does it feel like we have way too much? Anyway, that's a good play around Acid Rain. Save the ground lanes for the Briar Rose and all that stuff. What's your opinion on, on Apple Saucer? It's a very, very solid card. Not only at controlling the early game, but it ends up being sort of like a finisher in the late game. You know, three damage strike through for two costs. That's that's a lot. Um, so Briar Rose is better than Forget Me Nuts. We're going to do it like that. We'll let him summoning or bats or whatever he has into that. Just nibble, so it didn't matter. In comes Briar Rose. Briar Rose, very good card against Morticia, and there's no real good answer for a 3-4, and it's really impactful against some of the big minions she sometimes plays. Um. Should be okay. You can't, like, make a good trade against the Twin Sunflower. The only difference is between playing this here and playing this here is that if he plays a beam me up, we do three damage to face. I'll take the damage in this deck. I'll take it. Wow, top deck little buddy. That's gonna go a long way. We might even put this in front. Should I put it in front? Mm -hmm. oh, I don't think so. Let's see what Immortish is packing. Might have a rocket, but two for one. 
<laughs> What's your opinion on elderberry versus astrocado? I've heard a lot of people say elderberry so much better than the cheaper. But I don't know, man. It, it absorbs a whole guy. It dives two for ones if they have a removal card. Astrocado is the opposite. Not only does it cost a minion, it gives you a minion. That astrocado pit is really, really good. Uh, it has one less health. I think overall, astrocado is the better card. It's, I mean, it's probably based on my lifestyle. No, based on my. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. It's based on, like, my playstyle. That I like, you know, playing Twin Sunflower and ramping to a bunch of 5-drops, and it's just... It's such a solid choice in so many decks. Elderberry, very good card, though. I mean, hard to argue with that. Good question. You got us with the Acid Rain. Should I have played around that song? Let's see ya. Yeah, two bright roads on the field, though. This guy's just trying to survive. Woo! Top deck madness, let's go! Uh, Acid Rain is done, so we'll just do it like that. And one of these little buddies will probably turn into the base of the Elderberry, which is very, very nice. Good value. Extinction events, the Briar Rose, so the little buddy's probably smart. Uh, might even have another nibble for this. Let's see about that. <laughs> it's a 0 1 Briar Rose! Still has its ability! I don't know what that's gonna do because anything he plays, we can just drag into, into a little buddy, so this <laughs> Hunting Grounds doesn't do a lot. Oh, he got that cheese! Got somebody. Cheese. So, playing a strike through a minion looks really good here. I think probably playing on curve is better. Even if he kills the Briar Rose, we still win this trade with a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Useless environments. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> Why? 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 That's the real question, guys. So, hit him one of these. Hit him one of those. It's a ton of damage. This man's untrickable. <laughs> Joke's on you. I'm not running any tricks. I don't think there's any Walnut tricks that affect... That, you know, untrickable ever makes a difference. So, untrickable being useless. God damn it, block the five. Summoning's here. Huh? Don't be some BS. That's fine. Doesn't do anything. <laughs> uh, Briar Rose. The zero one one Briar Rose still carrying the deck. We actually have some heals, which is really good. Really strongly tempo impactful heals. Rare thing to see. Yes. Soul patch back up to 10. We got the 4-4. Four, four. I mean, it's it's a strong card. It's a sorry, same story every game, though. We have this big board, and we just have to win somehow. Oh, my God. Oh, my head. Oh, don't heal. Don't do that. We're still doing so much, though. So, 16. On the board, we've got 14. Yeet. 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 Uh, evaporate also doesn't work. Very likely evaporate there. Is either evaporate or bats. No, we already use bats. Use bats, acid rain, and summoning. So there's evaporate, and well, I'm very confused. Did he conjure it? Um, Forget Me Nuts, probably the better card here. It really messes up the trick efficiency, and it means that he has to remove this now. Difference between two and three damage. Oh, well, three and four wins. Yeah, that doesn't do damage in me. The cool news is if he was going for um, Locust Storm, I think we kind of played around it there, right? Yeah, he would have had enough without the four Gormy Nuts. All right, five and two. We're essentially in a seven and two scenario. I mean, how else could this stream go? It's all coming down to the last game, guys. If we win this, the bets are going to be yes. Let me see how many of the bets actually were yes. We vote 6 and 2 on a bad day. 54% of you voted yes, and 46 no, so pretty even right down the middle. Should I try to get some early damage with these Galactas? Maybe that's what this deck needs. You know, this isn't anyway a very good card against the Smash. Let's, uh, well, uh, well, with the twin, we have to mulligan one, eh? Alright. 
the twin. Bro, uncool. So let's hope. I mean, this plays around like Rolling Stone and the Frenzy superpower, but if that doesn't do anything. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay, well. <laughs> Very strong investment into this teacher. Good news is the opponent only has two cards. So let's see if we can start ramping and get something going here now. This will just go right. I'm just trying to think about the poppin' poppies. Is that if we play this here. Alright, the poppin' poppies could theoretically protect it and the power flower in lane one, something like that. Ugh. So power flower is going in one now. Look at all this, bruh. <laughs> well, it's just Power Flower. It's a brainless play. Power Flower and nothing. I want to protect it so badly, but I can't. At least we're healing a little bit. Uh, I'm scared. No Rolling Stone, so at least we're healing a little bit. Yeet. And soft. <laughs> I don't know. And this lives! In fact, I thought he would for sure have two... something with two attacks, and we actually get the Poppin' Poppies now. Now that we're in an awkward situation where we're making three, and the most left one is always getting dragged into this hole. Maybe I don't Poppin' Poppies. I mean, he'd need to have a one-cost trick, man. I think this is still better. It's very weird. Should I should I heal here to keep the twin sunflower alive? Or should I do it next turn? Uh, if this lives, we'll have six next turn, which is what we want. I think we're gonna have a better heal later. We're also um, healing our face a lot from these power flowers, which is very cool. Probably has nothing! So we whoa, whoa, whoa. so we win that trade. We save the 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 heal to heal this 3-1 up. We're healing right now for 8. Guys, look, 6. Look at this. Look at the flower synergy, guys. The ramp. We're back up to 14 health from Power Flower. Uh, yeah, it has to die, right? Oh, does it have to die? Uh, where do we want to play the Poppin' Poppies next turn? Yes! So this dies now. Uh, was Poppin' Poppies a better play there? This dies. It would have died anyway and made an extra egg. Uh, Poppin' Poppies was probably better there. And then we also would have healed again. We would have been act uh, back up to 20 actually. Which is ridiculous. Smashes Briar Rose. It's a turn where he's blocking. Yeah, I think Poppin' Poppy is supposed to probably overall the better play there. Elderberry. Yeah, I think that's... Is it playable? No, almost. Almost. That's basically all he's doing, though, so we should probably just go face with this, right? I wonder if we just do it here, too. I think I'm gonna do it here so it's not getting nerfed. The block meter is a little happier, but I think this is better to actually do the full five. It's supposed to hear it only does four. I think this is fine. Is is there a is there a a a, a pop and poppies play that's better here? Maybe this is better. We'll do this. And we're still ramping. We can actually play both of these next turn now. And we're going phase for four instead of going phase for five. So, th this is fine. Let's take, let's get the damage. Like, this elderberry can do damage next turn wherever it wants. Oh, the screw up to 3-2 because of the whirler. I'm like, <laughs> it didn't have a minion next to it. Very confusing. So let's get the damage while we can get it here. Uh, the regular Sunflower died, so we actually don't have this play, but... Okay, everyone and their mom is running Nurse today. I don't even know what's going on. We could kill the Nurse. We can actually win like this. Uh, should I YOLO? I've yolo too many times today. Do I YOLO once again? 
I mean, if he rolls a three, we're done for, but uh, we, we, this does win. Maybe I should do it here. Uh, but then he'll heal again. All right, well, between a chance of winning and definitely a chance of at least stalling his healing down for a little bit here, let's do that move. It means our elderberry's dead, but... Can we win this game, please, for the love of... All that is yes! Yeah! <laughs> if only the front one attacks and the back one doesn't even move, it means he won the game. It's just how this game works. Front attacks first, and then he's dead, so there's no point in the back one even doing the animation. PvZ Heroes Logic at its finest. We won! And we got the 6 and 2! What a fabulous stream! Oh, what do you guys think? That you go on YouTube? What do you guys think? I'm on the fence, but after much deliberation, I'm gonna say, hell yeah, it's going on YouTube. Hell yeah, it was one of the greatest streams ever. Every stream we've done lately is the greatest stream ever, man. That Rose deck we did, we OTK bomb, we've been doing science. We've been, come on, man. <laughs> Over here on the Fry Em Up stream is where the magic happens, guys. Every single damn time. <laughs> it's almost just uncanny at this point how we have these miracle games when I'm live man it's part of the part of the magic the answer is yes uh, that'll definitely go on YouTube hope you guys enjoy the 100% flower challenge what an incredible stream including one of the greatest comebacks in history I'll see you in the next one peace this is Fry